What is up, you guys? It's your girl Clifty, and today I'm back with another video. It is currently 1:11 a.m. August. It's August. It's August 18th now. And today I decided to do this video because I've been getting a lot of questions on this in particular video, and I can't respond to all of them, so I might as well make a video. So the video I am going to be um, responding questions of is how to make slime with Swap Kids three in one. Um, I did that video over a year ago, and it's gotten 6.6k likes. Thank you guys so much. I've never seen that many likes on one of my personal videos. And it got 1.3k dislikes, but that's okay. And it got 521k views. So, I'm on here, um, and I'm just going to be responding to the questions. So... This one person said, what if you don't have that shampoo? So you can use any thick shampoo. Um, Swap Kids 3-in-1. Swap Kids 2-in-1 and 3-in-1 are more common for like no glue slimes. But you can use any thick shampoo. Okay. Um, this next person said, where do you get your containers from? Me, I get my containers from Walmart, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General. I might even like... Um, wash the cups that I use at lunch at school and bring them home and wash them again and then use them for slime. So I don't have a specific place where I get my containers. Um, oh, this one person said, you look like Julia from CJ So Cool. You're pretty and don't listen to your haters. You're a talented girl. Thank you. Um, shout out to Winter Plays Games. Um, a lot of people do say I look like Julia So Cool from CJ So Cool. Uh, I don't see it that much, but, mm. okay, next one. This person said, I tried it, and it, and, and, I tried it, and worked, and said, I put it in the freezer one minute, it worked, though, but I wish I had activated it, but what the heck, your slime recipe still worked, though. Thank you, and I'm glad you helped you. Okay. Um, uh, does it work with any salt? Um, I don't know. I don't, like, the salt I have is a salt that I have. I don't think it really matters, though. I think it can work with any salt, so just experiment. This person said it works. Swabby Kids and Shave Joe works. Already tried. My original idea. So cool. I am so happy. Skin to Mate Shave Gel by So Cool Like because it was my original idea. Please, please, buy. I don't know what she just said. I don't know what she just said, but good for you. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, this person said it works. Oh, no, this one said, it never works for me. The slime fails. It's probably because you're using a shampoo that's not thick enough that can handle the salt because salt does melt your slime, but, like, it works with some thick shampoos that can hold it. Or you probably added too much salt. So just keep trying. And on this video, I've been getting a lot of people more, um, more comments of this one in particular thing than, like, Comments that saying it worked. So I've been getting more comments of people saying, we can call it whatever we want. You can't tell us what we want to call our slime. First of all, let's clear the air. I think I already explained this before. But I never said that you guys couldn't use the name I was using. I said, please don't copy me. I didn't say you couldn't use it, but like, it's, it's better to be original and use your own ideas and not use, like, take things from other people. It's not really taken, but like, it's just good to have your own imagination and your own way of calling things or naming things or whatever you, however you want to put it. See, look, this person said, I like your video, but why can't we call our slime? If we do make a water jelly manager, it's a bit ridiculous, just a name, but I really like your video. So basically, yeah. Uh, let's see. 
So that's why it's taking me um, some time to really look at the comments to see if there's any questions because there's more qu there's more people concerned about naming the slime than really asking for help or anything. Oh, here's a question. It says, does it melt? Uh, if you're never playing with it or if you just leave it out, it will melt because, I mean, it's a shampoo. And, but if you, like, if you're getting ready to play with it, you put it in a freezer or fridge for about, like, two minutes just to get it back thick, it probably won't melt. But it just depends. Okay, next. Oh, guys. Um, in my last video, I did a um, no glue slime. And I also showed you guys um, the nails that I painted. And I'm going to put a picture right here. I'm going to put a picture right there um, so you guys can see what I painted my pictures, uh, what I painted my nails. After that last video, I painted them. I showed you what they looked like in the last video, and then I'm showing you in this video of how I painted them after that video, if that makes sense. And um, we got this new polish, and my mom put some on her nails even though she got them done. And it's like this confetti. I don't know if you can see. It's like this confetti nail polish. I'm probably going to do a back-to-school nail design type thing. But back to the questions. Um, uh, so I'm going to pause this because I'm not going to, I'm going to pause the video so I can find um, a question because it's mainly about, like I said, it's mainly about people worrying about the name. Okay, this person said, she, this person gave some advice. She said, let it stay for two days and uncovered and it will turn back clear and activate a little more so that is um that is a tip and advice if you make the slime go go if you guys want to see another no glue slime is i have this video up it's probably from like a year ago i don't know and if you make the slime go through the comments or just come back to this video and listen or read what she just said because she can actually help you if that actually works but thank you and shout out to just Amelia um, uh, another person said doesn't matter what salt no I do not think so and this other person she also gave a recipe that will work Guys, these ones really work. I try it. I tried it. Swap kiss two in one toothpaste and salt. Stir them. It be stir them. It becoming slime. Bit. All right. I'm just gonna like redo her like um suggestion because it doesn't really make sense. So I'm gonna read it the right way. Guys, these ones really work. I tried it. Swap kiss two in one. Toothpaste and salt, stir them until it's becoming slime, but not very stretchy, but it's okay, you're going to love it. If that makes sense, just do it, see if it works. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause and come back when I find another question. Okay, guys, so I have three questions right here for you guys and suggestion. So this person suggested put it in a freezer, but it also worked if you freeze it. So, yeah, so if you freeze it, it might work. Next question, I didn't use the recipe. Well, suggestion, suggestion. I didn't use the recipe, but mix that three in one with suave essentials shampoo and it makes slime so you can also try that out if you guys want me to try out these recipes that they're suggesting comment down below it might take some time because i will have to get everything but yeah next one does it work with sea salt uh 
I don't know. I feel like Sea Salt is stronger than just Salt. But this one person um replied to her, and we're going to see what she says. LOL, any salt works, but I feel like coarse sea salt is more salty and therefore activates faster. So just be careful to be safe. If you want, use table salt or I desired salt because it's less salty. LOL. So if you only have sea salt, you can try it, but don't add too much because she said that it activates quicker. And a lot of you guys are. A lot of you guys said that you ran out of salt. If you guys are doing this, try not to use your kitchen salt because, I mean, your mom or dad, whoever cooks for you, or if they use salt, they need it for their food. So I would recommend just going, like, if you go out to eat, it's not stealing because you're going to have to get something away if you're putting it in your food or if you're putting it in the bag to, to take with you on the go. But you can just get some salt. From like Burger King or something, if you go in there, don't get a whole handful. Okay, just get like, like ten. Um, but yeah, so don't go in your kitchen to go get your mom's salt unless you ask her or him or your mom or dad, or if they let you, or if you're just getting a little bit, because you don't want to run out of salt at home, especially if your parents might get mad at you. Okay. Um, a lot of people are saying. Um, some people say my hair is cute, thank you. Some people are saying I'm pretty, thank you. I'm not, I'm not going to go all the way to the top to people who told, said that to me, but thank you. I'm also loving or liking comments on the way. Uh, okay, this person says, you need to put it in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes for it to be harder. So, if you do that, go ahead and try doing that. It might work. I don't have Suave. Where did you buy it? Buy it. I'm willing to buy it. Um, you can. I bought my Suave kits at Dollar General, but you can buy Suave kits 3-in-1 or 2-in-1 at Walmart. Any, like, store, probably even, like, um, what should we call it? Like, grocery stores you could probably find in there. You never know. And then she said, edit. I have a shampoo called Tresemme. Will it work? Yes, because it is thick like Suave Kids, 3-in-1 and 2-in-1. Um, uh, oh. So the guinea pigs are on the bed because all three of them, the babies and Marcus, because I washed them today. And Marcus needs to get under the cover so he don't get sick. Molish, go. Okay, guys. Back to the questions and stuff. Um... I think I, I, think I got, I think I got one. She said, this person, I think, gave a suggestion. Um, hi, thank you. Oh, you can use Suave Kids Shampoo and Too Faced. It works. So you also could try that, guys. Oh, and I'm not going to guarantee you that I'm going to be trying the recipes that some of you guys recommend because, I mean, you know, when you're still living in your parents' house and stuff, they'll get mad for using things that you need in the house or for buying things that you might just waste if it doesn't work. This person suggested a challenge for me and my brother to do, or just me by myself, which is kind of stupid, but Hot Cheetos and Takis Challenge. I actually want to do that, but, like, it's going to probably all go to waste. Um, I'm going to go and see if I can find another question. I'm probably going to do, like, two more, and then we're going to end the video. Okay, this person said, love the hair. Thank you. And, oh, does it work with Suave Ocean Mist Shampoo? I don't know. I've never heard of that. But, like I said, Suave Kids are known for thick, like, shampoos. Two-in-one, Suave Kids two-in-one and three-in-one are both thick. So, you can try it. I know I'm responding to these um, questions very late because some of these are from, like, eight months ago, a year ago, seven months ago. But if you ever want to go back and try it, 
you can take this advice, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm going to try to look for, like, one more, uh, and then we'll probably end the video. Okay, since these two are right near each other, we're just going to answer both of them. Or we're going to talk about both of them, because I don't think they're questions. Add cornstarch or flour to your slime. It does work. I have tried it. Great video. Thank you. And cornstarch to slime... Cornstarch to regular slime will make you a butter slime, but cornstarch to the Suave Kids slime, it might give you a thicker and stretchier slime. So just go ahead and try it and see if it works. This person said, does it work with just normal Suave Kids shampoo? Oh, wait, no. Does it work with just normal Suave shampoo? If you guys do not know this, Suave came out with Suave Kids 2-in-1 and 3-in-1 Kids shampoo. And they also are known for their shampoos and conditioners. So, I mean, you can try. Uh, me personally, I think that um, body washes and shampoos are thicker than just, um, I think body washes and shampoos are thicker than conditioner. So I feel like they could both work. Um, all right, guys. That did it there. Mm. Well, guys, that is it for this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see some more slime recipes or slime testing with no glue. Um, someone requested me doing a how to make slime step by step, literally like what you should use and what you should not use and how to do the activator. So I really want to do that. I mean, I haven't really done a video explaining how to specifically make slime. So I actually want to do that, and I will do that once I get some glue and stuff. I will give you guys the information about not needing stuff or not having to have it to make slime and what you need and how to do the activator and stuff. So, yeah, I will do that. If you guys do not know how to make slime, comment down below if you would like for me to do that video also. Also, I put a poll on Instagram if I should do a subscribers control my um, life on Instagram type of thing. And if I do it, I'm probably not going to do like a whole wake up, um, should I wear this outfit or that outfit because I'm not going to be going nowhere. Uh, should I eat this or that? I probably might do if I should eat this or if I should just eat that. But I'm going to see if it's, like, um, done. Also, guys, make sure you follow me on Musical.ly, Instagram, add me on Roblox. I'll put them all in the description down below. Uh, okay, look. This, this is what it says. ID, ID, IDK stands for I don't know. And I said, I do not know, should I do my subscribers control my day on Instagram tomorrow? And it got 100% yes. So I might do it. I might not. I, it's just if I can get myself up to record. But yeah, guys, this is the end of this video. If any of these tips or suggestions help you, comment down below. And try to give this recipe a second try since you got more information on it. And I'm sorry I answered the question so late, but it's late in the morning, like at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm still up, and I'm going to stay up until I'm, like, tired. But, yeah, guys, that is finally it for this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below do what you want to see from me. Don't forget to subscribe. And follow me on all my social medias in the description. Bye, guys.